is basically about being cozy, taking care of yourself, being gentle with yourself and not being too harsh on yourself, especially during the harsh winter months. A lot of people can suffer from seasonal defective disorder or see seasonal awareness disorder. I myself sometimes suffer from this, especially around Christmas. I'm not really a big fan of Christmas, too much commercialization and too too much gluttony and I really do not like Christmas at all. I'm not gonna hear talk about my my hatred of Christmas. I'm not a grinch, I just don't particularly like the time of year. So in this video I'm gonna go through five five steps of how I relax, how I incorporate Huga into my life, which I've always been doing before this word became sort of trendy. So number one I like to do yoga. I do yoga every day in some form or another and I do it once a week in my gym schedule and I also try to do it on my days off when I'm not doing any exercise because it really helps stretch out your muscles, lengthen your muscles. It also really really helps with mood, anxiety, just well-being in general. I like to do different types of exercise if I've had a heavy workout the day before so weightlifting, running, doing some but I like to do a sort of long deep stretches or if I'm just doing a general yoga workout I might pick something that isn't me turn energetic that might make me feel better that might give me more uh, go up and get go to go uh, better or worse or even just something to relax and what I like to do especially after a walk I like to go and roll up my yoga mat put on my yoga pants uh, or yoga chargers if you're in the UK like I am and I will do different types of stretches from the down dog to the child's pose to the pigeon pose as you can see here just doing different poses to stretch out my calves, my hamstrings, my hips, my back, my legs and my hip, my shoulders just every part of your body it's really good to stretch after work out, working out I also use the Yoga with Adrienne YouTube channel she is probably the person who got me into yoga the most and I just think yoga is fantastic Number two, I like to light candles, which is quite a cliche thing for relaxing and is actually quite big in Denmark. Apparently that people in Denmark light candles all the time. If it's right or wrong, let me know in the comment box below. And apparently it is just really common to light candles. It creates a lovely warm atmosphere, it makes you feel really cozy, it makes you it makes you feel really relaxed, especially if you get candles with different smells, di different flavours almost, if you can sort of get what I'm talking about, different sizes. I like apple and cinnamon ones and chocolate and vanilla ones. I don't really like the fruit scented ones. A lot of those smells make me feel sick. I like to light these if I'm reading a book or just chilling out with friends or my boyfriend or even having a bath. I love baths, trust me, I love baths. And number three, I like to read. I like to read a lot. I can read four to five, even maybe more books a week. I normally stick to non-fiction particularly murder mysteries or classic fiction. So I like Agatha Christie, I like the Bronte sisters and I like Jane Austen. I also like a lot of more modern uh, crime dramas, police dramas. I also really, really like anything that is set sort of in the interwar period, which is the 20s, 30s and 40s and during the Second World War. I just love that era and I love the clothes from that era. So I like to read, it really helps me relax, especially at the end of the night when I'm trying not to use technology and when I'm trying not to look at t TV screens, laptops, iPads, camera, whatever. It just helps me think about my day, it helps me relax and helps me have a really good sleep. Number four, nourishment. It is so, so important to eat healthy, to make yourself feel good and also to give yourself energy. I follow a nearly 80 to 90% plant-based diet and I really try to avoid dairy as it doesn't agree with me. I do eat some dairy but it has to be organic or at least free range dairy because I don't particularly like just normal dairy as it because it's full of hormones, it's pumped full of chemicals and the animal's welfare is terrible. Um, and I really um, eat a lot of fish, chicken and some red meat but again it has to be from my local butcher. I need to know where it was farmed, how it was killed and I really basically have to have an ethical source of my meat. And this, this particular thing that I'm making is just baked salmon with some lemon and garlic in the oven, some chopped peppers and onions, again with more lemon and garlic and soy sauce and I'm making a satay sauce to go in the noodles and it's full of there's protein and omega-3 in your fish, there's all your fiber and vitamins in your veg and there's also loads of healthy carbs and 
really yummy flavors in the pro in not the protein noodles in the saute noodles and number five just relax and breathe i love to meditate i follow different meditation apps i like to sit and just listen to maybe the rain i know it sounds really weird but it's actually very relaxing or i might just listen to some classical music or some a uh, meditation tapes or rain or something even with natural sounds that's why i love to go for walking especially in a natural environment in the forest or beside the sea i think it is really really important to meditate and be mindful and not stress yourself out with different things so i really hope that you've enjoyed this video and please subscribe and ding the subscriber bell and please let me know any comments in the and feedback in the comments boxes below and don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter and facebook with rachel with an e and i will see you next time <laughs>